Now, wizards, let's continue to look at the different trades. The Masoon Trade Route. A strong wind called the Masoon blows from India to Africa for half the year and blows the other way for the other half of the year. Arab traders could sail from India to East Africa in about three weeks. Goods traded. Archaeologists have found ancient Chinese pottery, glass beads made in Persia and evidence of cotton cloth from India on top of the Mapungube Hill. The kings of Mapungube organized their people to hunt elephants and mine gold at the times of the year when they were not busy farming. These goods were much valued by kings in India and China. The Arab and Swahili traders carried African goods to Asia and brought Asian goods to Africa. Now wizards looking at people's journeys on foot. People from Mapungube carried ivory and gold belonging to their king over long distances to the coast. They followed well-established trade routes between villages that were loyal to the king. They faced many dangers from wild animals or enemies of their king. If they passed through the land of another king, they would have to pay the king or trade their goods for permission to travel across the country. Mapungube World Heritage Site Wizards, what is a World Heritage Site? A World Heritage Site is a special place that is United Nations organization think is important for all the people of the world. In 2003, Mapungube was made a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. In 2002, the government of South Africa was looking for a special award that they could use to honor South Africans who have served their country very well. They wanted to create an award that symbolized great achievements, so they used the golden rhino and other symbols from the kingdom of Mapungube. They called the award the Order of Mapungube. It is the highest honor that can be awarded to a South African. Nelson Mandela, F. W. de Klerk, and 26 other well-known people were the first South Africans to receive the Order of Mapungube.